certainly an honor to be here today to stand before members of the Florida National Guard that's answered the call to serve this great nation, to go downrange in harm's way, protect liberty and freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the largest single unit deployment of the Florida National Guard since World War II. You are not only the defenders of our communities, you are part of our communities. You are our fathers, our mothers, our sons, brothers and sisters, friends, neighbors, and colleagues. It's been a long but productive road getting to this point. We spent the last year preparing for this deployment. Long, hard days of training, personnel and medical processing, new equipment fielding, and of course, family readiness events. Today, we move to Fort Hood, Texas, where we will continue to build upon our training, increasing the complexity of the tasks, lengthening the distances over which we will perform them, and varying the scenarios. Approximately a month and a half, we will move and deploy into Kuwait and conduct convoy security operations throughout Iraq for 10 months and return home again. We have approximately 600 soldiers. They're from four companies throughout the South Florida area of the, what we call Alpha Bravo, Charlie and Delta companies, making up of about 600 soldiers. These are all Florida National Guard soldiers. Uh, most of them come from South Florida area. They're leaving their families, leaving their employers. I was in Iraq in 03 and 04 with the battalion, and then I went to Afghanistan in 05 and 06, with the, the small contingent that left out of here. We're deploying with a whole group of people that are in the same boat we are. Everybody's going over there to deploy and work. It's the families that have to stay behind, that have to deal, you know, that have to keep it together, and they don't have the same support structure we do. To me, this is going to be another uh, another day at work. It's, uh, I don't see it being anything too uh, outlandish. Just us going over there, taking care of soldiers, completing missions. It's going to be rough on my wife. Uh, <laughs> and uh, on my babies, too, so they will be on active duty for a year but our soldiers will help secure Kuwait operations, the bases there, as well as convoy security within the Iraq operations. This deployment is uh, just another trip. No, uh, no worries, and I'm all right.